of Lockie Rowe. Oh, I was planning to be a bit more smoother than that, but <laughs> we're on. <laughs> we're um we're doing this without a script. Yeah, <laughs> as usual. We're uh, true artists in that sense. Where have you been, Lockie? What have you been up to? I've been very uh, swamped in debt. <laughs> I've been uh, busy. If anyone has any odd gardening jobs that they need done, their dishes, I'll, I've got five bucks an hour on dishes. <laughs> yeah, I need money. Hit me up for merch, <laughs> please. So, yeah, I've been um, keeping busy, doing my things. I've been making demos, actually, in the bedroom. Just like getting a microphone, putting it to an amp, and then... Because I don't have an interface, so I just record it through Audacity and then bring it into Cubase. That's cool. Yeah, and I'm any, enjoying it. Anywhere we can uh, listen to that? Yeah, maybe next week I can bring something in. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, it's hit that minute mark, and as as I say, it always gets pretty stale if you don't start playing some songs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so a big list. We do have a list. We have a list this week. We're still... Still going with some of the recommendations that I got off of that fateful Facebook post that I think I got like 60 plus fucking replies to. Um, so that's really cool. You're so all killing it, man. Keep it up. Yes. We love it. Yes. Keep keep hitting us with those requests. But we're going to be starting it off with um, Lizzie Jack and the Beanstalks with their new song, Late. Uh, this will be played from Triple J Unearthed. And let me get it going. Get into it. Track of time, so many students wasting their prime. 
I'm hey. cracking up. I'm cracking up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that was loose with cracking up. Uh, preceded by territories with the words. Um, those are two local, local Wollongong artists. I'm just on the on the band page. Oh, they're playing with high test soon. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. So these guys have. I mean, that's an old one. But let's see. What have those guys got coming up? Playing with High Test at the Foundry by the looks of it. Yep. Howlin' Threads, Major Arcana. They're a cool band as well. We haven't played them yet either. Young dudes, like grunge band. Okay, that yeah. will have to be... Dark Clouds, classic. Something coming up. Hold on, I'll show the... I'll show the thing really quickly. This is the... This is the gig. So, um... Yeah, yeah. mark it down. Saturday, the 11th of April. Got so weird seeing 2020... Yeah, still I, doesn't coming f- around to it. <laughs> doesn't feel any different, but I feel like every decade there's like there's like a one or two year grace period. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, when it was the teens, we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what happened to the double O, man? <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah, 2010 was just like 2009 on steroids. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like in the in the early 2000s, like TV ads. It's like um every. I guess, for better or worse, but every like extreme aspect of the 90s was sort of all distilled into... And then amplified. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I feel like, um, like, like when they had green tomato sauce and shit like that, it's like that, that feels like a very 90s thing. Mm. But I don't know. I don't know. I've got a whole thing on this, but anyway. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Whack, man. <laughs> um, green tomato sauce, but that's a fucking... That's a classic gag. Green tomato sauce. Yeah. How long's it been since they had that? The that Heinz was, thing. That was like 2002. They should bring that back. I guess. The I kids th- missed out. I feel like people are more like conscious of This fucking time it's blue. <laughs> this time it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> I rem- oh. Yeah, they, it wouldn't really fucking well, go Well, maybe. Maybe. They had those twisties that turn your tongue blue. Yeah, the ghost A couple of years ago. But they were fucking disgusting because... <laughs> you, your fucking fingers would turn blue as well <laughs> And it would just be like a stain Of how disgusting you are Being finger and smash You'd eaten all these fucking twisties And it's just like <laughs> yeah. a physical evidence well, I suppose of it's it no better than the actual orange fucking Yeah like, but at least you wipe that This is like a black oh, light stain. Sort yeah. of stain <laughs> You walk into a disco and it's like whoa <laughs> Yeah you've been fucking eating twisties my friend <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the new euphemism <laughs> yeah, that is a g- yep. Oh, it's been. Oh, I got your fingers in the twisties. <laughs> it's been too long, and in r- since Green Hines, since since you've been here, it's been ages. Lockie. How many episodes? Like five fucking episodes. Yeah, I think we did. So did we did do five together? Yeah. Yeah, we did five and this together. Is the and this is episode. No, this yeah, this is episode nine. Yeah. So you missed four three. episodes. You missed three. I'm not good at math. That's okay. That's okay. I had um I had a good time. Just playing with myself. What did you guys reckon, eh? <laughs> yeah, comment, comment. Do you need me or not? <laughs> no, we do. I'm just going to come in and swing by every now and then. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's keep it going. In the spirit of it's been a long time, this is Longies from Froth Dogs. Um, Froth I'll Dogs. i got some more stickers for you. If you're listening, <laughs> come and pick them up. All right, well... Yeah, do do that, guys. <laughs> Seriously. They're here. <laughs> I know they're from Newcastle, but...
he grab us a longie that if he talks when he go down to the shop can he grab us a longie that if he talks when he go down to the shop can he grab us a longie back at a BB back at a chips and some beef jerky can he grab us a longie back at a BB back at a chips and I'll satisfy me
Okay, that was Ooh. Lenore's with their song Killer. Killer. And before that, we had The Grounds with All My Friends. From Newcastle. From Newcastle. And that's oh. their new record as well. So, there you go. Yeah, check it out. This is all on, I mean, you can see where we're playing it from. Yeah. It's mostly on, you know, between Spotify and YouTube. You can find all of this stuff. We'll have all the bands tagged up so you can go and... Uh, support them directly. Dude, chuck them a like. That's all. That's all it takes. Yeah, and also chuck this video a like. Yeah, fuck me as well. <laughs> um, so we got some more tracks to get into. I'm not sure. Did we want to do do a few more tracks and do that interview? No. Or put that in. Okay. What What are you talking about? All right. What I'm talking about is uh, people who tuned in for the last episode would have seen. This clip of Playgrat playing live at 3D Studios. Uh, that clip is also up on just this YouTube channel. Uh, so go look for it. But I also did a little interview with them on that day, which I needed to sort of edit through and just clip together. It goes for about uh, just shy of six minutes. And it's, yeah, it's just me having a chat with them. It's about as charismatic as what I'm being right now. <laughs> so, um,. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hit play on that, check it out, um, and we'll be getting into some more songs, more songs in a minute. Also, if you are interested in um, coming into the store and performing and getting a live clip such as the Playground one, please hit us up. And um, if you want to do an interview, we've got a couch. And um, if you have something to say that you need to get out or you just want other people to understand this is a really good platform to do that yes yes so check it out definitely hit us up because i'm keen to pretty much do this for as many bands as i can oh yeah um yeah so without further ado here we here we go i'm here today with brent darby peter Ian. from playground and we just finished up recording fucking what songs? Uh, Moody Song and un Unhappy Harold. All right. And what was the... Tell us a bit about these two songs. Who wants to go first? Uh, oh, yeah, right. oh, well, I wrote both. Oh, you want to take the arrow? I wrote both of them. Uh, first one, Unhappy Harold, was kind of inspired by like some, some doom metal, uh, stonery stuff. Second one's just kind of like fast, upbeat. Stone. Stoner punk, yeah. Fast, yeah, just like upbeat, fast, kind of hardcore punk kind of sound, you know? It's just kind of about being sad. First one's about how disappointed Happy Harold will be in all of us kids today. Who wants to go next? When did you guys start out? Uh, the original idea for the band came from these two, and they wanted to make a band called Ratchet, and he was going to play bass and sing, and he was going to do guitar, and they're like, hey, Darby, you like kind of know how to play drums, don't you? You should join too. And then we got Liam on board on bass later. And uh, we ended up changing the name to Playgrat because I was making a really shitty felt Plague, Plague Doctor mask. Yeah. And they were like, hey, it sounds kind of cool. Well, yeah. And that's how we made also, it. It's, also, it sounds cool. Yeah. yeah, it sounds cool. So, you guys all in high school still. Fucking, what's, what's that like? Being in a band and still going to school? Like, all going to school together? Well, it's... um. It's good, but it's also fucking annoying. Yeah. Fuck, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shitcast FM. Right. <laughs> I literally asked the question whilst we're in the Alright. Um, yeah, we get practice in the holidays, but then at school it's kind of hard because we got like Darby and Liam are both good musicians. We also get kicked out of the music rooms. Um, Apparently our lyrics are yeah. abrasive. And offensive. And we're not really playing that loud, but like <coughs> to the music teacher's ears, it's just like unholy, you know? It's, it's they a just scene. Don't have good taste in music. What are you guys all listening to these days? I'll go <laughs> <laughs> left to right. Left to oh, right to left? Right there you go. So, um, I, I listen to solely jazz. That's it. I don't <laughs> listen to any other genres. It's just what I listen to. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a lot of like 70s rock. Like old school punk and fucking <laughs> local music. Yeah. That shit slaps. And fucking scat baby. And, and, you know, 
Yeah, the ones. Yeah, the ones. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a whole bunch of right. different shit. I listen to like jazz, metal, um, fucking gypsy shit. Obviously punk from the local stuff. Lots of progressive music and rap. I just listen to a whole bunch of <coughs> random shit. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. I like to listen to a whole range of shit. I listen to a lot of blues, a bit of uh, black metal, that kind of shit. A lot of local punk bands. A lot of punk. Folk punk, dude. Folk punk, fucking. Well, slide. You, you guys need to stop talking shit about folk punk, right? <laughs> um, yeah, just that kind of stuff. A lot of local bands, of course. Uh, fucking, yeah, like Peter said, you know, uh, Scab Baby, fucking. Shout out two moms. Two moms. Oh, we fucking love the boys from Two Moms. Bless their souls. Very cool. Very cool. So this is actually being filmed uh, about. Uh, about a week and a half prior to it airing. I know you guys are playing next door at La La La's uh, on Thursday, so a week ago for whoever's watching this. Uh, have you got anything else coming up in the future? I know Brent is planning a sort of festival of sorts. Do you want to talk about that for a bit? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm planning a, a music festival called Rat Fest. I want to get like seven... 10 bands in up at the, there's this place up in Stanwell Park, it's like a scout hall. CWA. CWA hall. CWA hall, not the scout hall. No, that's Country Women's Association. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's Country Women's Association hall. Uh, there's been a couple gigs up there. Um, it just seems like a really cool venue. When I get a couple of really cool local punk bands in, it should be a, should be a good time. April 4th is currently the date that's planned, but let's, let's see how it goes. Very cool, very cool stuff. Uh, is there anything else that you guys want to want to get out there before we wrap this up? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We hopefully we want to do some recording. It's gonna be fucking sick. We've already got the two live recordings. That you're probably gonna hear on the shit cast. Uh, they're fucking bangers. And then you should watch out for uh, EP. <coughs> and album, yeah. Yeah. EP. EP. Yeah. EP. Yeah. EP. Yeah, we're doing an EP, and yeah, that's going to be mad, and hopefully get it on Spotify. And then, if people like our shit, uh, we want to get merch done in the future, and that'll be fucking epic. And then make like YouTube and stuff, and make funny, funny music videos and stuff, and yeah. But come see us live, because that's, that's where most of the enjoyment is for us. So, the future's looking bright for Playground. All right, well, with all of that, we'll, um, you guys can play your songs, you already have, but check out these fucking songs from Playground. It's the first time they've ever been heard on record of any sort. I hope you like it. This that was it. It hey. sort of cut off quickly there, but that, that, that was, was it. That abrupt. was it. You can check those songs out on, our, um, on this <laughs> YouTube channel, pretty much. I, uh, when I was doing that interview, I sort of had the, the idea that I'd cut the interview into the songs and do this whole thing, but I don't know. That was it. Shooting the shit with Playground. Go check them out. They're on Instagram. They're around. You can, you can find them. You can find them. Um, so, we're going to crack into the second half of the playlist. Yeah. Six more songs for y'all. We've got... Uh, this is actually all around Australia. We've got some West... Oh, no. We've taken some off the bill. So we've got... What do we got? Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney, Adelaide. Yeah, that's a good mix. I reckon. So first up, we're going to do... Are we doing Yen? Uh, we'll do... Lizards. The Lizards. So these guys are from South Australia somewhere. And they sound like if Frenzel, Rom and... Yeah, Frenzel Rom and Grinspoon like had a baby. It'd be these guys. All right, I'm Paul. Well, I'm keen to hear it then. Uh, this is the Lizards played from Triple J Unearthed. Oh, this is new stuff.
Holy shit, that was excellent. High time. High time with Tear It Apart, live at Capital Sound Studios. Fucking cool band. Yeah, fucking really cool recording too. I remember one time I wanted to go uh, interview them. Oh, and before that we had Yen Strange with her new track Wednesday. Which came out this week. So that was like fresh for everybody. Yep. Had her in the store doing a little performance the other night. And it yeah. was very, very cool. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, what were you going to say before? Yeah, with high time, I travelled 15 hours to go and uh, on the train to go and interview them at um oh what was the festival? It was a festival in Sydney. A coffin were playing as well. 15 out. What were you coming from June or yeah, something? June yeah, June. Yeah, wow. And um oh from Jindabyne, Sorry, Jindabyne. And um. Unfun festival. That was what it was a few years back. And then they got really fucking wasted. And they were like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do an interview. And I was so hoping to get a wasted interview from them. Oh, no. But they were just like, no, nah, it was fucking one in the morning. They were just smashed. Like, like, kept putting it off, putting it off. And then they just like got in the van and were like, Lotus. oh, damn, man. Like, Fuck. Do you remember that movie? Did you see that movie Almost Famous? Oh, it's like this kid gets um to follow this. I'm not. Sh- I, it's all fictional, but it's like this kid gets to follow this rock band around in the '70s, and he's like 15 and he's way too young to be doing it. But he gets hired by Rolling Stone magazine under false pretenses to be an editor or something. to be a, to be a journalist. Yeah, right. So he goes on tour with this band and he's just trying to get an interview with the lead guitarist, but the lead guitarist just keeps dodging him, and he's yeah. way more interested in partying and doing drugs and shit. The journalist or the rock star? The rock star. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The journalist is... Yeah, it's it's a great movie. Yeah, great. so I ended up interviewing Coffin, which um, didn't really happen, and then interviewed Billy Punton, which is... Cheers, mate. That was fucking excellent of you. Good guy. Good guy. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Maybe you can give me some tips to fucking shape up my interviewing skills. We're going to be up at Dicey Riley's tonight oh, giving yeah. out interviews. Getting our practice on. What's what's the gig? Who's on? It's um, Basil's Kite. Commodore Charlie and some other bands that I don't know. Oh, there was a bunch of them. I had the message. There was a few. I had the lineup. Just two seconds. I'm going to... Let them see your brand. Oh, wait, no. That's your Facebook. <laughs> that's my Facebook. I'm going to hey just guys. Get, try and find the message from Scotty Law. He told me the whole... Peru oh, he's in sense. town now. He's wondering what I'm doing. I should. I We're was... recording, mate. There we go. We got okay. So tonight at Dicey's, we got Left Lane, Us, Vertigo, Basil's Kite. Wait, Us. That is it, as in Commodore Charlie. <laughs> I'm a fucking us. idiot. Who's, we got Us, Us. Who's Us? No, we'll be there. Me and Lockie will be there. We'll try and get an interview from uh, at least a couple of these bands. Fuck, let's go for all of and Gaspar Sands. Gaspar Sands. That's a cool band name. Yeah, hard to like tell people. To spell it. Gaspar yeah. Sands. That's cool sounding. I wonder right. what the history... We'll find out anyway. And yeah. that'll be on the next podcast. We'll have some clips. I'm not sure. We'll, I'm not we'll gonna have some audio. I'm not gonna make, sure. I'm not going to make any promises because maybe we'll do like a special edition or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll special s- edition. As in like maybe we'll just upload some clips to the channel. Maybe we'll just... Or like not put it... Edit it into a shit cast and just have it separate. We'll see. We'll see. Well, well it's see up to you we'll to decide, we'll really. We'll see how good it is. <laughs> oh, also, while we've got your attention, um, should we tell them about their new software streaming? Well, yeah. Well, I've got um, new... I'm using new software to record the podcast with since, as of last episode, I've started using OBS uh, instead of just the Logitech pack-in fucking software that my webcam came with. Um, That's how easy it is, guys. <laughs> well, we c- yeah. Well, anyway, we can we can live stream now. We have that ability, so we'd like to find out what, um, when people would like to hear a live stream from us. What sort of time? What day? Yeah. Because uh, we'd like to create just a regular weekly thing where we can have like a little online gathering of people. And do you guys like? How do you use the? Um, podcast as well. Do you use it while you're working or is there a certain time that you like to, I don't know, specific days of the week, you know, like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Because we, n- like, we started doing it on Thursday afternoons during Eat Street, but um, it's, it's kind of gone all over the place. So it's up to you guys to decide now. If we've got the incentive, we'll make it happen. But you guys, it's you guys. 
who needs to do better, not us. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out, would you? <laughs> Fuck. In the meantime... Just do our job for us, seriously. Here's some more music. Yes, okay, so we're going to be um, we're gonna be fucking Aye. cracking into the bottlers. The bottlers. The old bottlers. The old bottlers. With uh, <laughs> Hades... I stood in. Hades Way. We are, we're playing this off of Bandcamp, off of their... Three track, self titled, released like three months ago. Yeah, new music, fucking coming out everywhere. I'm so glad. All right, it makes me happy, guys. Seriously, it's Hades way. It's Hades way. We are stoic men, you know, I'm fighting 85 Set in the picture, raise a picture for the points and lines Then in the earth again, we go and let them start to hide Then in the sun again, we tie them until the day we die Hi diddly ho, hi diddly hey Here we are again, me boys and down hard to play Hi diddly ho, hi diddly hey Here we are again, me boys and down hard to play Fourth world, the words of Martin Stone and blood Like hell, explode, I've beaten brown with marks, a horse and up I'm from the dark, the mic, and I'm a fort, a stabby mate I'm from the rock, a side of mark, to the light of day Hi, diddly ho, hi, diddly ho Here we are, give me boys and down, hey, it's like Hi, diddly ho, hi, diddly ho Here we are, give me boys and down, hey, it's like Hi, diddly ho, hi, diddly ho Here we are, give me boys and down, hey, it's like Honestly, you 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that is good. some that is some rock and roll. That is some honest to God rock and roll. Classic Kingswood. So that was uh Australian Kingswood Factory with their clip for Two Lane Blacktop. Yeah. And before that, we had Slagatha Christie with a warm can of Melbourne, which was uh, filmed live, if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be... I think that's going to be pretty much it for the episode. We're going to play one local throwback this week. Uh, do you want to talk about this this one? I think we're just going to play one of the tracks from Triple J because uh, yeah. that's that's what we can find on hand that's right now. That's what we now. can afford. Yeah. Um, yeah, so these guys are from Jindabyne. They were around for a few years trying to uh, get a scene going in uh, in the Alps. But they did really well. There's no other real fucking um, punk kind of skateboarding bands that are around there, even though it's such a big... Boarding and snow sports, action sports town. The closest you got is Canberra. And then I don't know if there's anyone in Cooma or anywhere else. But yeah, so they like held the reins for a long time. And um, they're no more, unfortunately. I was happy enough to, or like lucky enough to play with them for like six months. D- did a tour. Oh, that's right. My first ever tour that I booked, I booked the tour because... The Watsoris put up a post saying we want to spend a full year on tour and like not pay rent and fucking do the things. And so I was like, fuck yeah, these guys are sick. That's like, so fucking next level to take that plunge as well. Well, that's what clowns did as well. They just like, all right, fuck it. We're not y- paying any more rent. We're living in a band. And they had like, they rented a little, um, like an apartment kind of thing yeah. and then turned that into their practice space. Oh, that's and they so slept, cool. slept next to his fucking drum kit and like, it's that's, epic. That's a dream. <laughs> and so I was like, these guys are onto it. I was like 15 or, I don't know what, I was killing medic. I was fucking. Yeah, 15, 16, yeah. around what, the 2010, 2010, 2011. No, the, I think it was a 2013 tour. Oh, well, that's... I don't know. I think I was older 18. than that. Yeah, you'd be 18. No, that was after the tour. 2013. I, t- I, I, turned, I turned 18 in 2012. So, 2013, you would have been 18. And was that... Yeah, what yeah. year did you move to Mount Pleasant? 15. 15. So, really? we've been in 2014. Oh. Yeah, I've only been in Wollongong for fucking like six... Yeah, only shit. six years. Fucking yesterday, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too long. But yeah, like... um, It's not nothing either. They put on... So I booked them for a tour and then was like, fuck yeah, let's go on tour. And they hit me up and that was the only person that hit them up. But I had them for two weeks and was like, these guys are fucking sick. And um, yeah, the what? Sorry, is fucking Albie, if you're listening. Scott, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey. We should do another season soon. Cheers for fucking uh, letting us crash it. I only met you that one time, I'm pretty sure, when I crashed it. Yeah, and Blind Man played. Place. Yeah, one of my favorite fucking... Memories is when clowns played at the um the Hella Keller no what is it the Hella the the Keller bar was it I the Keller bar the Keller yeah, yeah. the Hella the Hella the Keller but yeah the uh, the Keller bar that's what I was thinking like <laughs> fucking Charlie Manson <laughs> yeah fuck but uh, yeah the Keller bar they used to they brought out all their furniture and then brought in skateboard ramps and it's snowing outside and you get fucking you get to drink and then skate and all you do is you rock up. You sign a waiver. If I get hurt, it's my own fault. And then you go skate, mosh, drink. Like, it was fucking insane. It was, honestly, I've, I'd only been to that place once when I walked in. It's like um, when you're watching, like, a, a really cool movie from the 90s or something. They show what, like, a really cool bar looks like. That's sort of the vibe I got off of it. It was sick. like something out of... It's like something out of a fucking dream, like... And they had no idea how to, like accommodate for bands so the bar was just like well we've got an esky full of fucking beer and you can have two bottles of wild turkey like is that all right yeah "Eh." (laughs) yeah i remember we were leaving that next fuck day and i've still got that fucking fireball flask that i got we just got all this fucking fireball so much merch merch. (laughs) yeah (laughs) well well, there's promotional package may as well just fucking give it away but yeah keller bar donk you're a man you fucking... He was the one who put them all on and he's no longer working for Threadbow, so Threadbow doesn't have skate nights anymore. Oh. For, from my own knowledge, I'm going to look it up, actually. Oh, uh, well, maybe. Maybe one of these days someone else will... Uh, be a legend. Yeah, pick up the reins. Be a legend. That's yeah. right. 
Um, I'm sorry. Do you want to announce this next track? <laughs> yeah. So this track's called Vexatious Litigate. Vexatious Litigate. If you're a son or a daughter of a bureaucrat, this song is for you. This came out um, almost six years ago now in 2014, and we're playing it from Triple J Unearthed, which is what we could find it's on gonna the fly. It's going to be so weird listening to it again. Let's check it out. When it plays. <laughs> Uh, 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 that's all, folks.